Alright, so in one of my previous videos, I recommended that you should get rid of the navigation bar and start using the navigation gestures on your S24 Ultra. But many of you pointed out that this white line, which is also known as the navigation gesture hint, is now permanent. And this can get very annoying at times because it takes up a little bit of space at the bottom of the screen, so the apps and the keyboard are not gonna fit properly. Now on One UI 6, if you head on into the display settings, then navigation, the option to switch off the navigation gesture hint is right here. But it's not there on One UI 6.1, which is what the S24 Ultra is running. But thankfully, we can bring this option back using good luck. So let me walk you through how. So what you want to do is head on into the Galaxy Store and download the good luck app. It's already installed on my phone, so we are gonna open it. Now inside GoodLock, under Makeup, look for the Navstar module. Once you download the Navstar module, open it and switch it on. And inside, you wanna enable the extra gesture setting. So enabling this will bring back the option to hide the navigation gestures. So now if we head on into the settings, then display, and scroll down to navigation bar, and tap on more options, now you can see we have an option to switch off the gesture hints which will give us a more immersive full screen experience because now the applications are gonna utilize the full screen of your Galaxy S24 Ultra. Also the circle to swipe still works so if you press and hold the bottom of the screen the Google panel should come right up. Now, if you want the gesture hint to be there, but you don't want it to take extra space at the bottom of the screen, what you can do is head on back into the Navstar module, and here you want to enable transparent hint. This makes the navigation bar hint area transparent so that apps will now fit at the bottom of the screen. And not to mention, the keyboard is also gonna fit properly at the bottom of the screen without any extra space. So yeah, there is plenty of customization available for Samsung smartphones. Alright, so this is gonna be a super short video. Thank you for watching and I hope this solves your problem. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing out.